Thoughts on the game last pre-season? Yeah, it was uh, oh, a bit of a mixed bag. Some uh, some good, some not so good. Um, meaningful minutes for guys who kind of just got back, which uh, was important for us today. Um, I think no, hopefully, uh, I don't think there's any injuries or anything. So, um, <coughs> yeah, obviously good opposition. So, um, yeah, a little bit of everything. Do you reckon there might be a little behind closed doors for some of the later lads, the Cop America guys, or do you reckon it be all right for them? No, nah, we've got, we got, we got some, um, yeah, our training's pretty good in terms of getting them back up to speed. I and mean, we've got uh, it's a Monday night game, so we've got a couple of extra days for us. So, I think the 45 today will be good for them, and then uh, <coughs> sort of we're going to do some good work with them over the next sort of 10 days. <coughs> Dominic Solanke confirmed around one. Yeah. You know, great news for the club. Yeah. And the player you, you like a lot. Yeah, no, he was obviously, um, you know, one we, we, I was very keen to get in, and, um, you know, it took a while to get it over the line. But, uh, yeah, no, I think he'll be um, a great fit for us in terms of. Um, just the, the, the kind of player he is, where he's, the point of his career he's at. And, uh, yeah, I think it'll be a good fit. Obviously, as I said, uh, you know, we're, we're a bit light on in that front third. So <clears throat> in terms of um, adding quality, not just to the squad, but also to, you know, our team, um, he certainly does that. So, um, yeah, pleased to get him on board. And, uh, again, you know, we've got sort of a week and a bit to, to work with him. He is an out-and-out striker, but he can do a bit of everything, though, can't he? Drop him as a 10, play wide. He's someone, it's kind of versatile striker you like, isn't it? Well, I think, look, I, like I said, I think we identified him because I think he's got the attributes we, we're kind of looking for in terms of that position, and um, he gives us some, I think he gives us some things that we, we probably have been missing uh, sort of the last 12 months, and, um, you know, particularly when Richie was out um, last year. I mean, when Richie played, he was very effective for us, so... Uh, it was quite evident that uh, when he was out, we didn't really have a player who could make you know, the kind of impact that I know Dom can in that final third and just with his general play. So um, so I think he'll be good for us. How excited was he when you, when you spoke to him about his, his new challenge? Yeah, no, he was... Um, like I said, I think, you know, we've got him at a really good time in his career. He's, he's had to kind of work his way back up, which is, you know, I've always think is a good thing. Uh, sometimes... When careers go smoothly, you, you, you know that you, you wonder how people will, will handle setbacks. But he had his setbacks early in his career, and uh, you know he's fought his way back, and you know he's he's become a really good Premier League striker now, and you know he's really keen to push on. I think uh, he wants to improve. He wants to um, you know uh, make an impact, and I think it's um, it's a great time for us to bring him in. When he got introduced to the crowd, he was clapping, and then he went, "Wow." just feel his emotion. Yeah. That's what you look for, isn't it? You want players to come in here because they want to play for this club. You've been saying it constantly, haven't you? Yeah, I think it's important. I think um, yeah, players have certainly got options out there and uh, you kind of want to understand the motivations for why a player would want to come to to, to, to us and you know, as soon as I spoke to him I <coughs> you know, I got a real sense that he had a burning desire to, to kinda you know, take his football to another level, really challenge himself at a big club. And um, like I said, he's, he, he's keen to make an impact. And, um, you know, our job is to make sure we provide that platform for him. Good to see you. Thanks, mate. Hi, Ange. Uh, just on Dom, do you think you'd be ready to start the first game? Yeah, I don't see any reason why he shouldn't be. Um, you know, he's played most of the preseason. Um, yeah, slight knock in the last game Bournemouth played, but... Um, of course, we'll have a look at him during during the week, but um, you know, I think that considering he's done most of pre-season, uh, I see no reason why he wouldn't be available. I mean, he, he first came onto the scene as a, as a youth player for England and mm. won a player of a tournament um, way back in 2017. You've obviously been the international manager before. How long has he been on your radar? Yeah, no, a fair while. Uh, but again, you know, you kind of always... You kind of look at players who've had, like I said, interesting journeys and... Um, you know, with some players, things happen really early in their careers and they go really well, but then there's, you know, inevitable sort of stumble along the way. And obviously, you want to see how they react, but, you know, Dom had, you know, it was a very sort of bright start to his career and, um, you know, it was at big clubs, um, which every player kind of aspires to, but for one reason or another, you know, it didn't work out for him. But the fact that, it, like I said, he's got him back, himself back to this position where he's, again... You know, one of the premier strikers in 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 the Premier League. Um, it's a testament to his character, and you know he's only 
you know, 26, you know, about the turn 27. So I think probably because of those early challenges he had, I think he's going to try and you know push and have a real sort of strong and, and impactful, you know, um, sort of meaningful years, um, you know, from now on. Yeah, look, I've, you know, is, is ready. I mean, Destiny sort of has been training a bit longer than that. We've kind of protected him from games, but only because he's been out for a while. But he has been training um, a little bit longer than the other guys. But yeah, look, the the, the guys who came back this week from international duty, um, yeah, you know, it's a matter of trying to, you know, get them up to speed. Yeah, you know, they've all come back in good condition, which helps. Um, but I think getting them 45 minutes today, um, you know, against a really good opponent, I think they'll feel better about that. And, uh, you know, we'll use the next week to sort of 10 days to, to gauge how ready they are. But, again, I, I see no reason if they, you know, if they get through our training week that they wouldn't be ready. And just finally, it's a big transfer to Tottenham bringing Dom. Did you anticipate there would be much more movement after that? You know our budget here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, look, I, we'll see. Um, there's still time in the window, and um, I think there'll still be some activity. Uh, Lucas Berg, Archie Gray playing in front of the crowd for the first time. What did you make of their performance? Yeah, I thought it was positive. It was again, you know, that's something, you know, tangible for us as a positive is that they've had that run out now, and they kind of know what it feels like, and. Um, you know, playing in, in, a, in a full stadium. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, I think they both had their moments in there as well. And, um, look, I, they're going to be good players for us, no doubt. And, and the more sort of exposure we give them, um, you know, the more we'll, we'll help them develop. Was Lucas all right at one point? It's been a bit of discomfort. Yeah, I'm not really sure. He said he was struggling to breathe or we had to sort of, you know, I don't know whether he swallowed something. Or, but, um, yeah, so but I think it was nothing serious. It was all right. Hi, just one for me. I just want to ask you about um, Dejan Kulisevsky. He scored twice today. With Solanke's arrival, do you still think you will use Kulisevsky as a centre forward or in that central role? No, I don't think so. I think, you know, I think the good thing about Deke is he can play sort of that attacking midfield and, and out wide. Um, you know, I think for us, the reason we, we signed Dom and, you know, we, hopefully Richie should be ready as well is that. You know, we, we want to have a sort of <coughs> a player through that area who's, you know, more accustomed to that role. I mean, Dickie's done a great job for us, um, but I think his strengths and attributes are kind of more in that sort of attacking midfield or in the wide role. And, yeah, I think he's really developing and he's had a really strong pre-season for us. Um, and, you know, hopefully, um, I think it just gives us some more... Um, Flexibility, flexibility and potency through that midfield when he's playing because he, he can get into those scoring areas. Any final ones? Ange, just uh, one question. These practice games, they say practice makes perfect, but what did you make of the three goals you conceded today? Yeah, they weren't, they weren't great. Um, they were, um, yeah, pretty ordinary, pretty similar to what we sort of conceded uh, over there, but... Um, you know, at the same time, we're 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 kind of not at that stage yet of sort of we're sort of integrating people in. Um, you know, we had a back four that's never played together before, and um, you know, I always kind of bear those things in mind. That the key for us is to be ready uh, come Monday week. Hey, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Yeah. I didn't think they were going to say all the audio.